Okay, so here's the last part. I guess this is, this is part D. And we just read the section on what is a spectrum. And yeah. what did we learn about primes? There weren't any in there. <laughs> nothing, still nothing about primes. Yeah. Darn it. But so they were back talking uh, again about this, this weird looking wave we saw yesterday. Yeah. And what was this wave we it's saw yesterday? C and an E. All right, can you play this? Okay. C and an E. Yeah, C and an E. Okay. So remember what it said yesterday, we could break this apart into maybe a C looks like this. I won't probably draw this exactly right. And maybe the E looks like this. Okay. And when you added these waves together, you got this other wave that didn't really look like a wave. Yeah. Okay. But breaking it apart, so this, this complicated looking thing turned out it could be made up of two very simple things. So play your chord again. Right, that's a complicated sound, but what's, what's the easy way to describe that sound? It's a C and an E together. A C and an E together, and that's called the spectrum. Yeah. Okay. And what was another example they gave in the, in the chapter about the spectrum? Well, it was like the rainbow. A rainbow. Okay. And it was, there was also, they used like different spectrum, spectrums of light to see through the telescopes and yeah, astronomy. That's right. That's exactly what they do. So let's talk about how a prism breaks up light. What is it what does a prism do with light? Well it separates it into its colors. Okay. Because a light it's so just a white beam of light and then it hits the prism and it splits into a bunch of colors. Ah, okay. So when you look at a white beam of light, it turns out a white beam of light is actually very complicated. It's Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple together. Yeah, it's made up of all those things. So what's the spectrum there? Spectrum is red, orange, yellow, yellow green, blue, and purple. Okay, so that's a good way of thinking about it. Just like the spectrum of our little line here was C and E. C and E. Okay. Can you maybe play a C, E, and G? C, E, and G together. Okay, so there's an even a more complicated sound. Yeah. But it turns out it's a C and an E and a G. So that's a really easy way to describe it. Yeah. Okay. So that's what the spectrum is. So where do you think this is going to be used with primes? Mm, I don't know. Maybe there's like ranges of primes. Okay. Like the spectrum like would be. How do you prime. separate out primes? Like maybe we could, like, it's the range, like primes from like 2 to 41 or something. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to know. But what, can you think of a situation, it's not going to be the exact right situation yeah. that they're talking about, but can you think of a situation where we look at a number and it turns out to be easier to talk about that number in terms of primes? Hmm, well, like numbers that are sums of primes. Okay, that's interesting. Like a very complicated number that could be like the product of two very easy primes. Ah, there's another example. where So like if we're going to talk about the number 10, it's just 2 times 5. Two. Maybe it's easier to talk about the primes there mm -hmm. in it. Now that's not exactly what, what they're going to be doing in the spectrum analysis, but, yeah. but that's an example of 10 might be complicated, but thinking of it as 2 times 5 might be an easier way to think about it yeah. sometimes. Okay. So I'm sorry that the two sections you've chosen about the spectrum that looked like they were going to be really interesting about primes really didn't talk about primes at all, but was it still interesting? Okay, cool. All right. Good work today, guys.